The Toolcheck Plus is everyone's favorite EDC tool kit because it's small and well organized. But I found the socket selection doesn't always fit all the bolts I run into. After a ton of research, I found a way to seriously level up your Toolcheck Plus so we'll cover all the popular metric and imperial bolt sizes out there. Up until now, if I wanted to feel prepared, I'd carry a full set of quarter inch imperial and metric sockets like I have in this custom EDC toolkit I made. That covers all my bases, but I've been asking myself if I really need to carry all 20 sockets because it's so bulky. So I decided to get to the bottom of this by buying basically all the common things that I would find in the hardware store. So I went to the aisle with all of the nuts and bolts and I bought a bunch of different popular metric sizes and imperial sizes. So I took all of these bolts that I bought and I just mounted them to this two by three. So I basically have the gauntlet. I have all the popular sizes that you will run into day to day. Now, if you're working on a specific kind of car or machinery, of course, you're going to need different bolts. But I just wanted to start with what an everyday person might run into. So I have basically sizes an M10, M8, M7, M6, M5, and 3 8 5 16 and a quarter. The other two sizes that you might run into is an M12 and a half inch. But honestly, these are such huge beefy bolts that this is nothing that you're probably going to want to tackle with an EDC style toolkit. They're just too big. So let's take a look at this and see what fits what. So this is the metric row and this is the imperial row. So let's start with the metric side of things. M10 actually has a 17 millimeter head, but unfortunately a quarter inch socket set only really goes up to 14 millimeters. So a 17 millimeter bolt really is not something that we can support in a kit like this. Really the maximum size that you're gonna be dealing with here is an M8. So an M8 uses a 13 millimeter, and that's a good fit. A M7 uses an 11. The M6 bolt uses a 10 millimeter and the M5 uses an eight millimeter. On the Imperial side of things, we have our three eighths, five sixteenths and quarter inch. So the three eighth uses a nine sixteenths. The five sixteenth uses a one half and the quarter inch uses a seven sixteenths. All of these other sizes that you see in this kit are really not commonly used. So these are sizes that you probably don't need to carry with you day to day, at least from an EDC perspective. Now we can simplify this even more because there's some overlap between the imperial and metric sizes. This 13 millimeter metric will work perfectly fine on a half inch imperial. You can see there's a little bit more play here, but that's fine. However, the reverse is not true. So a half inch imperial socket is just a little bit too small to fit onto a 13 millimeter. That tells us that if you just want to carry one of these, go with the 13 millimeter metric. The 11 millimeter is also very close in size to the 7 16 In fact, they're interchangeable, but for the sake of simplicity, I'd go with the 11 millimeter to stay metric. This 9 16 thin socket from the Imperial side of things can actually be fully replaced by a 14 millimeter socket. That works just as well. So this proves my hunch that if you want to carry one set of sockets that will cover most situations, I would definitely go with a metric set. So now we know we only need five sizes to cover the most common metric and imperial bolts in the US. Eight, 10, 11, 13, and 14 millimeter. How does that selection match up to what's included in the metric version of the Toolcheck Plus? It has five and a half and six millimeter sockets that are both pretty tiny and not something I run into, so those will be replaced by more useful sizes. The seven millimeter isn't super common, but I've seen them used on car interiors, so it's a keeper. The eight and 10 millimeter are super popular sizes, so it's good they're included. The 11 millimeter size is missing, and that's useful for both M7 and quarter inch bolt sizes, so that needs to be added. 12 millimeter sockets aren't a popular size at the hardware store, but are used in certain vehicles, so that's also a keeper. The 13 millimeter size is great for M8 and 5 16 inch bolts, but it's missing the all important 14 millimeter size to cover 3 8 inch bolts. So to level up the metric tool check plus to cover the most common fasteners here in the US, I need to add two sockets, the 11 and 14 millimeter. Fortunately, Vera sells individual quarter inch sockets. The 11 millimeter cost $7 and the 14 millimeter was nine. To make room for the new sockets, I removed the five and a half and six millimeter sizes and shifted the sockets down. The left side with the seven, eight, 10 and 11 millimeter sockets are very tight because the rail ends. So you need to put the 10 in last. 
On the right side are the 12, 13, and 14 millimeter sockets. With all the sockets in, they're super tight and it's metal on metal. To try and make some wiggle room, I used a heat gun to soften the plastic and push it back a bit and probably gained a millimeter or two. It's kind of risky, so a Dremel might have been a better option. You can definitely get by with color coding and the number printed on each socket, but I'm a little obsessive, so I went ahead and printed out a label with all the new sizes. Now my Toolcheck Plus has a super optimized set of seven sockets that handle all popular metric and imperial bolts and fasteners in the quarter inch range. I've been wanting to get a clear answer on which sockets are essential for years now, and I'm really glad I spent the time to test this out, because now I feel confident in carrying less and knowing I can still cover a lot of ground. Now I'm no expert, so let me know down in the comments what I missed and how I can make this even better. Thanks everyone. Till next time.